Hello everybody, welcome back once again to the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. Uh, we're starting out here in Luka and we need to head on uh, over to the, the dock area. Uh, we've got uh, some battles to, to take care of and, uh, <laughs> and a summoner to rescue. Okay, so there's our first tutorial here with the Albed Machina. Uh, later on in the game, once we can steal any anytime you steal from a uh, from a Machina uh, enemy, it just completely dismantles them, which is really it's really nice. Uh, and then usually they've got a, a really good, I guess like an Albed potion uh, to uh, th that we steal from those. You know, unfortunately, uh, we don't. We don't have anybody to seal quite yet. Uh, eventually, I do make, you know, Kamari into kind of my second thief, and so uh, we'll we'll definitely be able to do that soon. Uh, Lulu does comment there that they're also weak against lightning, uh, so you know that's another option. And then here, yeah, I mean, wow, I didn't I didn't realize how uh, weak our characters are right now. <laughs> Uh, Titus and Kamari only doing about a hundred damage, and you know Lulu here doing five times as much. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, I would say so. Uh, right now, also not a bad time to uh, bring up your uh, overdrives if uh, you know if you can. That's not super critical, but uh, we do have a boss fight coming up, and uh, ooh, I got a Moomba duo. Let's check the. Uh, Check this. I don't know if I ended up. Yeah, probably not. Lightning strike, fire strike. Uh, unfortunately, not very useful. Actually, not useful at all. Um, you know, the actually Lulu's weapons. We really want those to have. You know, um, I guess some way to increase her magical power. Uh, you know, the things like fire strike, lightning strike, that sort of thing. Uh, that actually requires you to just use the attack command with Lulu in. That's a, you know, that's not a good way to go. She just doesn't do, you know, physical damage. So, um, there's there's sometimes a case to be made for her, if you know, using her melee attacks. Maybe if she's got, uh, you know, a status effect on on some of that stuff, like a blind or petrify, something like that. That that might be useful, but. Uh, even even then, that's that's pretty rare. She's she's just solid uh, as far as you know magical damage throughout the entire game, and so you know probably ninety nine percent of what you're gonna do with her is is cast those spells. And she also does have a really good uh, MP pool uh, in order to, to you know kind of keep keep doing that. And there's enough save spheres in the game where uh, it's it's pretty rare for her to actually run out of uh, MP. So. Uh, so yeah, that's my that's my take on Lulu and uh, <laughs> and uh, what you know she should be equipped with, I guess. are keeping the score tied with some excellent defense, folks. Oh, he'll feel that one in the morning. Ah, but the referee doesn't call the foul. Wack is taking a real beating out there. He won't last. Waka's always like that. Ouch. Let's go. Uh, 
All right, so Waka is getting messed up. But, uh, yeah, uh, they're, doing, they're doing well, it looks like. All right, let's, let's keep rolling here. And, uh, yeah, definitely save your game. Get, you know, restored. Get your, you know, your MP back. And, uh, and we'll knock out this uh, boss battle. Let's go. Indeed, we can. We can use that crane. Uh, so, uh, I, I believe here, if you try to use the trigger command right away, it, uh, it'll just, you know, tell you that it doesn't have enough energy or something like that. And, uh, and so, at that point, I think it's, it's either obvious or maybe even Lulu might, you know, tell you to, you know, cast thunder spells on it or something like that. I'm not sure. I, I, I kind of actually wish I would have done that, but, uh, and either way, uh, that is how you do this. <laughs> Uh, just cast some thunder spells on the crane, and uh, and that will power it up. And at that point, uh, I think it takes maybe three three casts. We'll see here. But um, uh, at that point, then Titus can use that trigger command to use the crane to uh, kind of destroy a part of the boss. And uh, definitely worth it uh, to do that because it takes, I don't know, like... Uh, was it like 4,700 some damage or something like that? So, uh, also, you know, not a bad idea to haste. Uh, usually, if I'm going to use haste, I'll use uh, haste on Titus first, and then that way he can kind of dish out haste to uh, the other characters. Uh, here, this thing does Blitzball Rush, was that called, I think? And um, I know this thing also has the ability to silence uh, characters, so that can be a, a little obnoxious. Uh, you know, especially if it if it does that on Lulu. So uh, at that point, I would definitely recommend, yeah, their mute ball. Uh, you know, at that point, it's probably not a bad idea to uh, to cure that with an echo, uh, was it echo, echo screen, something like that. But uh, also, yeah. So here, um, you know, once the crane is kind of rumbling like that, that's the that's the cue to uh, to use the trigger command with Titus, and we'll just pull this bad boy apart. Thump, and <laughs> there we go. It just dumps it into the ocean. All right, yeah, four thousand seven hundred ninety-nine damage. Not bad. Uh, also, you know, weak, weak to lightning itself. Uh, maybe that was obvious. Maybe not. But you're right. Boom! Nail him with a uh, seed cannon for the overkill. So uh, that is that. Uh, pretty easy stuff. Why? Wow, just realized. I don't think I cast lightning on the actual boss a single time. All right, that's it. I hope you hurt them. A little. What is it? There were these all bed that saved my life when I first came to Spira. They took me on their ship, they even gave me food. I was kind of hoping that this was the same ship, but it's not. I wonder if they're all gone. What happened? Sin came up near us. I made it out okay, but I don't know what happened to their ship. Um, was there anyone called Sid on that ship? I don't know. 
They were all speaking that Albed language. I see. So who's Sid? He's my uncle, but I've never actually met him. Mm-hmm. Wait, so that means you're Albed too, Yuna? On my mother's side, yes. Sid is my mother's brother. He became distant after my mother married. But she told me to seek him out if I ever needed help. You're worried he was... Don't tell Waka about Yuna's lineage. The thing about Waka, he never had much love for the Albed. Whoa! I, I gotta tell Waka. I thought I told you not to tell Waka. The game! Oh! left. The Aurochs are launching an all-out offensive. A long pass from Lenny. It goes through. Oh. Oh. He shoots. Goal! Unbelievable. The win. If it was Chapu, he'd still be standing. Hey, aren't you being just a little unfair? Excuse me? I know I could never take Chapu's place. You're the one who told Waka that, right, Lulu? And I don't think Waka would ever try to take Chapu's... You don't want to finish that sentence. <laughs> okay, so uh, Yuna's back, uh, the Aurochs are uh, doing well, and um, we're out of, unfortunately though out of time for this one. So as always, I hope the guide was helpful, and I hope you join me for more videos. Thanks for watching.